devotion. She has a calendar to plan and likes to prepare so that she always can complete her tasks with some time to spare. She is always going the extra mile when a need may arise and she finds many ways to create happiness. You are in for a su surprise. Wow. <laughs> That is wonderful, Goshen. Really, really, I think it's wonderful. Meet Nadia. She looks at change as something that helps her grow, but she is fast runner. Make sure you are not slow. It is all about adventures and nature. When she has her children around, it makes her think deep, and there is always a treasure to be found. Her run usually ends up going an extra mile, but what makes her truly happy is getting her patients to smile. Wow. <laughs> oh, you know, Sorry. that would make me cry. That's amazing. Thank you. And I'll tell you where I, I found the challenge during the last couple of years, because we wear masks. So exactly. a patient cannot hear you, you wear a mask and you're trying to tell them something and then they cannot hear you. So it's been very difficult when you talk to a patient. It's not just the eyes, is it? It's the whole face expression. Are you smiling or are you, are you not? Or when you say a word, it's a combination, isn't it? Aside from our personal problems, we don't actually bring it back to our dialysis during work. We actually show patient that we are happy here with our smiling face even though we are on mask but then sometimes we laugh loud we laugh loud that uh, they know that we are actually happy so when they see us being happy and when we joke around with them they tend to smile and they are happy spending their four hours here even though they are a bit stressed at home it is important for this our profession nursing profession to to just also find it in yourself to to be kind to people. Uh, we're dealing with human beings, with, with, with people, with everybody with their own story. And I admire your dad. Is he better cook than your mom? Exactly. Is he better? <laughs> or probably you don't want to say that. <laughs> he, but then when there is, uh, there is, he only does cooking when there is family function where my uncle, my auntie all come down and then he does the cooking. But like for home, normal cooking, all he doesn't want to do. He said he doesn't do small, small cooking. He likes to do big, big cooking. But when I came here, uh, my husband, he is a very good cook. And like just your dad, he's, he's, I admit, without a fight, he's a better cook than me. <laughs> I sometimes say our patients, they become like a small family. family. They know it. If they don't see a patient, sometimes doesn't see their, somebody else. And then they're worried. Oh, where is he? Or oh, are they all right? So they, they're worried about them. So they do become, and they share a lot. They are, they are very they caring become. with each other. And then they are, they are caring with the staff here as well. <laughs> Looking back, if I, I went back so many years, would I still choose the nursing profession? And I think I'd still go, I'd still do, because of the caring, because of what the, the satisfaction you get from from job well done, from seeing people being happy, from seeing them the, the happiness in the, in their eyes, the joy. I think the first thing is very obvious and I, I can just say is we care. We both of us care for our patients over and beyond the, what we do. Um, that's one. Uh, the second one is uh, we are attached to our families and to our traditions. We like to see our patients smile and um, we are willing to go extra miles for our patients. For me, it's what unites us, is really what we do in every day. We care for our patients and then also uh, finding the balance with what we do outside of work. And then still continue to do the caring profession like, like we always do, like we do every day. It's our second home. <laughs> 
It's true. It's true. That's how it feels to me too. I don't know where the hour says hour has gone. I don't know about you, Gulshan, but I really, really enjoyed talking to you. I felt like uh, I, even now, if we had another hour, I'd probably ask you more and more about uh, how life is across the other side of the world in Malaysia. It's been lovely to meet you. And I think, yes, my expectations have definitely been fulfilled today. I didn't actually know what I'm going to go through today. So it was a bit of um, excitement at the other side, it was a bit of nervous. I don't know who am I going to see, what I'm going to talk. But then uh, during this conversation with Nadia, I didn't know where the one hour went. It's amazing yes, it how was. much uh, we can share for one hour and then you become, I feel like I know you uh, a lot from from what you've shared with me. Mm-hmm.